Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanide Software. I'm going to talk about sort of um, trying to clean up and uh, sort of check your scenes and go through, get rid of double faces, isolated verts, you know, um, just stuff that will be a hindrance in, hindrance in your scene as you're working. So um, let's go. First thing I want to do is I want to run Forensic and go through. So I can see that there's some scaled objects and some empty objects. So first thing I want to do is get rid of all my empty objects and might as well get rid of these empty layers. So the rest of the stuff is just geometry and it is scaled, but I'm not really too worried about that right now. Um, second thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to select all my geometry and I'm going to want to do a object reset. And I just want to sort of, you know, just go reset every one of the objects, just make sure that, you know, um, it's, uh, they're, they're sort of, re you know, the pivot points set to the center. Um, I try and get rid of as much of that flickering stuff as I can get. Uh, it's going to still flicker a little bit, you know, because the, my, it's just the nature of Max and that geometry. Um, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to open up our sculpt and as you can see here I mean we have quite a lot of verts um, compared to our polys there's a hell of a lot of verts there so I am guessing that every one of these faces isn't really welded at all so the next thing I want to do before I go through check for double faces or anything like that is at a really low tolerance I want to go weld my verts and this should give me a significant drop down in vert size. I'm going to say probably at least half, which will make sort of quite a bit of difference when it comes to checking for looking for double faces and stuff. Okay, yeah, so it's gone down to 1.2 million. All right, so the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go and want to select all this geometry again, and I'm going to go look for double faces. So it's going to go through and you always want to do find double faces before you use our delete or detach double faces. Uh, it's basically what it does is it goes through and it eliminates objects. So as soon as it finds one single double face, it isolates that one and sets that aside and says, I don't need to go through and check all the rest of this because uh, I already know it's bad. So it'll mark that one as bad and go to the next. Uh, so it will save some time and you'll actually see the double faces, probably removing the double faces will be even quicker than this. Uh, you can do this in, um, you know, in groups of objects, you don't have to grab everything in the scene. You can just grab sort of the buildings in the front, go through, check those. Uh, I have another scene that I'll check, open up at the very end, and we'll sort of look at that. Um, all right, so anything that's red, of course, is bad. So I'm going to select all the red objects, and I'm going to say um, detach double faces. So it's going to go through, get rid of all these. And we'll sort of just take a look at what it's removed as soon as it's set. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is sort of get these, you know, all these isolated verts, check for isolated verts. So yeah, that's a lot of double faces in there. So let's just go, we will delete those. And let's just go restore wire color real quick. So we can get it back to where we were. And I'm going to select all, I'm just going to check for isolated verts. So we'll run through this. And there's a couple, so we'll go clean these up. And then we'll restore the wire color. Now, the next little bit I'm probably just going to pause. Um, I'm probably, the next part is I'm going to want to go through and sort of by color, um, I'm going to want to attach all this stuff. So I can select by wire color and go through and attach these objects. So I'm just going to pause this for a minute and I'll run through and I'll attach all this stuff real quick. There we go. So I've gone through and I've sort of saved you the process of watching me go through and attach all this stuff. So the last thing I want to do is go throw these into proxies. So I'm going to open up Ignite and I'm going to jump to our panel and I'm going to want these as external proxies. So we'll just go put these in the proxy folder and 
then I can display these as half mesh and we'll go through to create proxies. So as you can see, it rattles through this pretty quickly. Um, it's not a long process of throwing these guys into proxies. Uh, they are now showing as half mesh, so it should be a lot lighter. Uh, I could actually go in here and, uh, you know, display as logo or pyramid or whatnot to, you know, get my scene lighter. But just so I can sort of see what's going on, uh, I prefer in city stuff to show that in half mesh. And if I wanted to export this out, I mean, it's, it's real easy. So if I take this back out to geometry, I mean, it's quick to go through and that's real time. So we're right back out to a geometry, can just sort of select this again and say, hey, no, nope, throw that right back into the proxies. So it doesn't lose any of its position, doesn't lose its material or anything like that. So transferring back and forth is very easy for this. So that is it. So any uh, for any other information on Ignite or some of the tools that we use, they're all in the Ignite tool set. Uh, so just go to Sinai.com, SinaiSoftware.com and check us out. Thanks, guys. See you.